What's up guys, it's Nate Doggy Dog 52 and I'm back again. After this past All-Star weekend, it was a massive weekend of sneakers. On Friday you had the Gumbo pack and also the Crescent City pack, the Jordan um, All-Star pack. Um, those sold really well here in, in Europe. Um, and then the next day you had the return of a classic sneaker, one that I've always wanted since I got into kicks like four and a half, five years ago. The Jordan um, 6 white infrared. Um, so this past weekend was a dream came true basically. I was able to finally get my Jordan 6 white infrareds. Before I got to that, I did get an outlet pick up. I was struggling for something to rock with my um, grape kicks. So I've got this t-shirt right here. It's got the jump man on the back and that's it right there. Uh, so it says Air Jordan 5 grapes, Air Jordan flight club. Um, so that's a great little pick up. Um, that one um, I managed to pick up on the sort of final reduced rack, so I got that a great price, it was a bit of a steal. Um, enough about that though, let's get into the kicks. So here we go, similar box as the Jordan 5 when the retros came in that. Um, looks like you see the box numbers. So what we have here is a Jordan 6 retro, uh, official colour is white, infrared, black. Uh, 386664 and the colour code is 123 on here. Um, so this sneaker is an absolute must have for me. Um, when I knew it was coming out I had to pick it up. So there we go, that's it right there. It's the Nike Air Jordan Retro 6 uh, in the white and infrared colourway. Um, a sneaker an absolute grail of mine, one that I had to have. Um, I don't have many sixes, I only have two pairs right now. Um, shout outs if you know off the top of your head what those are. Um, for those that don't, the um, first pair of sixes I ever got was back in the 2012 Olympics. It was the um, Olympic sixes when they done the re-release um, 20 years later. Um, and then, so this is the sneaker right here. So they've done the re-release on the Jordans uh, Olympic six. So that's them right there. Uh, so I'll just put it off to the side for a little sec. Um, so basically, uh, Jordan 6, um, Michael's sixth signature shoe, originally released for the 1990-91 season. Um, so basically the season that would have just been after that I was born. Um, and I do have a picture somewhere, and I'm going to put it on the end of this vid if I can find it, of me when I was super, super young with these sneakers on. So it's a bit of a sort of nostalgia thing and like a, a, a major throwback to me when I was really, really small. I did have these sneakers, so shout out to my mum and dad, they knew I was going to be into Jordans when I was older and they got me in them when I was young. Um, so yeah, 1990-1991 these released, uh, again another Tinker Hatfield shoe, it would have been what, his fourth shoe in the Jordan series. Um, basically this shoe was another one um, to draw inspiration from, um, well sorry, the first at the time to draw inspiration from the automotive world. Um, it was on Michael Jordan's Porsche 911 Turbo. Um, so, and there's some cool other little things in there. So the major thing was this moulded wing. And if you've seen a picture of the 911 Turbo of that year, it has this big black wing with a little bit of red on it. So you can see that on there. That's also in the black and infrared pair. It's the same um, sort of moulded heel. Um, heel counter, heel strap. Um, so basically what Michael said was, I'm down for it as long as it doesn't rub my Achilles. So it was designed in a way that it would be away from your Achilles, but it would still aid you to get it on. Um, another thing um, the, a lot of people don't realise is, if I show you the outside, right here is like a number two, and right here is a number three. Um, so that's something, so like it goes like that, two, and then the three right there. So that's something that not a lot of people knew. i uh, never known that looking at the shoe, but this is again how people get so attached to sneakers where they see things like this and they think, no, this is amazing. Um, so there was some carryover from the Jordan 5 in this. Um, you did have your visible air carrying over. You had a lace lock carrying over, albeit this one is, doesn't have the same sort of a, a V shape on it. It does still have the lace lock. You've got that neoprene sort of lace um, cover uh, and also the icy sole, so the icy bottoms on these, that was another carryover from the 
uh, Jordan 5 and again this was only the second Jordan at that time to have a icy so and the next one would be the 11 and then the 16 um, so again really really iconic shoe um, so what Michael Jordan did in this shoe was he won his first NBA championship against the Los Angeles Lakers he averaged 31 and a half points uh, for the 1991 season he got his fifth straight MVP he made all NBA all NBA defense teams he also um, of course he was the finals MVP he made it to his um, Joe All Star game with that. I mean, like his sixth All Star game or his seventh straight, seventh All Star game, I think it was. Sixth All Star game. Um, so, again, incredible, incredible achievements in this shoe. Again, I think this one, why it's loved so much, is it is the shoe that Michael wore when he won his first NBA championships. And this shoe hasn't been retroed a lot of times. It's not like the three and the four where they've been out quite a few times. This one has not been retroed that many times. Aside from its original release in 1991, this shoe is only released a further once in its true form. Um, they did release in 2010, but they were white and varsity red, not this infrared colour. Uh, they then released again um, as part of the infrared pack, where it was this white and infrared, and then the later to be released hopefully this year. I've heard that it's supposed to happen this year. I've heard Black Friday also is the black and infrared. Um, and I cannot wait to get them. Um, so I'm going to be a massive pickup for me this year. Six is going to be massive this year. You've got a lot of OG colorways coming out, as well as some rumored new ones. Um, so you've got the white um, infrareds. You have the infrared 23s. You have the white and sport blue. Obviously, the infrared 23 is a new colorway. Sorry. So you have the white and infrared. You have the white and sport blue. You have the black um, infrared, and you have the carmine sixes. So those are four that I'd love to pick up. Um, or they have one of them. So I'm a quarter of the way there. And then you have some new colourways, like the Infrared 23, which released this past weekend. I've seen it all over All-Star Weekend. I've seen uh, Nick Cannon with it. I've seen Nelly wearing them. Uh, I think I might have seen Terms J wearing them also. Um, so that was a massive shoe. And another one that I was able to cop, so I'm super happy about that. I've also seen the Championship Cigar Pack, which looks incredible. I cannot wait to get my hands on them if it's possible. And the Oregon Ducks, Jordan 6, I've seen that as well. So if that does release and is a made available to the public um, and even to the public in Europe I would love to pick that up um, so enough about that I've told you pretty much so everything there is to tell about the shoe I'm just going to quickly run through it um, so again you've got your icy parts your icy sole on the sides and around the heel you've got that nice infrared jump man major the rest of the material is black you've got the white around the toe cap white on the midsole with a little infrared hat around your visible air unit all white on the back with your embroidered um, Jumpman with air below it. Again, coming around the side, you see that visible air with the icy sole. You've got that infrared coming around on the midsole. You've got that 2-3 in nice white leather. Feels really, really nice, this sneaker. Um, very, very nice sneaker. You've got your white flat laces. Um, again, this is the time around when Tinker Hatfield was also doing his cross training. So you'd find that neoprene is going to be massive on this. So you've got the neoprene... Um, little lace cover with the Jumpman on it in infrared and uh, neoprene further down. You've got this tongue that's a love and hate it kind of thing. The, the concept of it is to help you get it on so you would hold the back here and then put your fingers in there and you can just pull it right on. So the concept of it is great, a lot of people don't like its functionality. Um, you would see this tongue also, it's on the Jordan Spazaic, the sort of hybrid model of the 3, 4, 5, 6 and also the Jordan 20. Um, so that's a massive thing for that. Um, You've got that wing that was moulded off the spoiler on the uh, Porsche 911. Um, you've got that nice perforated leather. At that time it was to give you breathability. You also have an alternate lace loop um, sort of in the midfoot area. Again, this is going to give you, for those people that have wide feet, you can stick it in there. It'll give you a little bit more width in the shoe. Um, as I said, this is my third pair of Jordan 6s now. I picked up the... Um, Jordan 6 Olympics that was won in the 2000 Sydney Olympics by Ray Allen, uh, most notably. Um, those were limited to 3,000 pairs um, and then they were re-released um, and 20 years later as the 2012 Olympics for London. I was able to pick them up. I was my first pair of 6s and I fell in love with the 6s then. I then looked on to pick up later, I think those, those, those released late June, early July and then it was like 
August time I'm sure that was the Golden Moments pack which is the black and gold uh, Jordan 7 and the white and gold Jordan 6 I was able to pick that pack up and it's a pack that I think the quality on it was awesome especially for the price the presentation was amazing with those USA dust bags um, so that was a great pick up the Jordan 6 massive massive deal uh, so let me just pop it on feet and let you guys see how they look There we go, that's the Jordan 6 white and infrared on feet. Let you see the side, the back, and the soles. An absolutely incredible sneaker, I absolutely love these. Can't wait to pick up some more sexes later this year. So for anyone that's not familiar with my videos, it's now time for me to grab my phone, jump up into my shoutouts, um, and it's, if you'd like to be added to the shoutout list, all you have to do is ask kindly in the comments section like a couple of people have done recently, and they'll be added. Um, so first off, it's my boy from over there in St. Louis, it's Horse Ready. Uh, next up, it's the main reason I do these videos, and the reason I do them is Ike Bezos, shoutouts to him, uh, the sneaker addict, aka DJ Dells, Black Santa 24, uh, is the closet collector. Fran Relations, JJ Jumpman 23, JSTAR 25, Parametric 99, Dubstep Slap 415, Jumpman Bostic, the big sneaker brother over there in Detroit, salutes to him. Uh, Laidback 365, Sticky 213, Nice Kicks, the store over in Austin, Texas. Uh, D63SX5, Crazy Black Man 108, of course, the homie from Florida, Zaya X. Uh, Just for Kicks 212, Damn America, that's Sugar OK. Nightwing2303, the king of performance sneaker reviews. If you're ever wanting to find out about how a shoe performs, check out his channel. Um, Juco's Terrible, um, a UK sneaker fan, The Game 59, Say What You See, 666, The Simp Jam, No Mosaic, my um, boy Alan from Glasgow, uh, another boy Alan from Glasgow, shout out to him. Uh, Logan J. Bays, Sam Colt, whose username is 3TVID. Uh, shout out to DJ Hess on Hess Kicks. Uh, Dainese Johnson, aka DJ Drama 5, shout out to him. Uh, Swag on, haters out. Um, been showing love um, for a long time, so shout out to him. Optimus P517, again, showing love all the time, shout outs. Uh, T Blake from over in Boston, uh, the Boston area, so shout out to him. One Veracity, Flight Skill Shoes. Uh, the homie, um, Mr. Fomer Simpson, Drawing Skills, Heart and Souls, DMV Sneakers. Uh, the homie from Tampa, Guns and Gloves, A Bailing Astronaut 23, Cyclo Kicks 23, MRJ UNC 23, uh, the homie again from the sort of Boston area, Yo Ante, Mr. Nike SB6, Bullet RC, The Real Rare A20, uh, shout out to DJ Ski and everything he's doing with his Ski TV, uh, London Nagasa, Rai Fizzy, Casey Towsland, Davidson Aberdeen, Terry Ferran, and of course, um, Young guys that have been doing an awesome, awesome job in terms of performance review is Kick Genius, or Kick Genius rather. Um, so that concludes my shout out list. Um, if you do want to be added, certainly add and um, just kindly ask in the comments section, it'll be done no problem. Uh, furthermore, if you want to keep up to date with what I'm copying and what I'm what kind of sort of things I'm liking, what I'm getting up to in my day to day life even, um, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. It's going to appear right here, it's at Nathan Kerr, the number 20. Um, also, um, when you are on Instagram and also Twitter, if you want to use my hashtags, use uh, hashtag NDD52, NateDoggyDog52, um, use hashtag SneakerFanWorldwide, uh, and also use the hashtag TBlake. So there we go, that is their Jordan 6 White and Infrared 2014 Retro. I've been NateDoggyDog52. Until the next vid. Peace out.